welcome to today's episode. Today, I am interviewing the amazing Sana Shawani from A Piece of My Glam Home. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for, thanks for inviting me, and I'm sure this will be very exciting, and uh, let's have fun. Yeah, let's have fun. I'm so excited that my followers and your followers are going to get to hear a little bit more about you and your design journey. And, um, you know, I just have some fun questions for you that hopefully you can share and help teach and learn some of other decor accounts and help them grow. Sure. So, so. I think the first time, um, I have never done a live. So this is my first time getting interviewed. I, I guess that's the word I use. So I'm, I'm excited, but also I'm nervous. So. Oh, well, you're doing great. It's overdue because your account's amazing. You've grown Thank so you. much. I've, I've been so lucky to be your friend on IG. I know we've messaged here Thank and there. I'm glad. I'm glad. I met so many amazing people on uh, Instagram. I made amazing friends and you're one of them. Oh, thank you. Same, same. And it's just been so fun to see your journey and your account and your beautiful home. And I am obsessed with your TikToks. Thank you. <laughs> That's fun to see like that um, other side, your sense of humor, right? That we don't always get to see like on Instagram because sometimes we just show our home decor, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to mix my TikToks with uh, home decor, but basically my TikToks, my husband and my kids, they decide the content. They just come to me <laughs> and they're like, here's what we are doing next. And I just do it for them. Yeah. And I the video and that's it. They are the ones who are dealing or taking care of from TikTok. That's so awesome. Cause I bet that really has helped during quarantine. Cause I know, like you said, today was last yeah. day of school. So yes, that TikTok videos keep them busy. They're always on TikTok, um, you know, deciding what's our next um, skit. So oh. yeah, okay. so they're the ones who are doing TikToks and I, I think it's fun. They are loving it. Yeah. So my TikTok, as I said, uh, I was telling someone yesterday, it's, it's for my family. Yeah. <laughs> They're having fun. So I just mix the uh, home decor um, videos here and there, but mostly it's like my kids and my hubby and, um, you know, we're just having fun with TikTok. Oh, just good. Like good. It, I, I enjoy watching them. So we discussed a little bit about um, when you sent me your bio that you used to be in IT, correct? So tell me how you transitioned or tell me a little bit about your IT background and then tell how, how, does, how did that transition into home decor and your Instagram? Sure. So I'm a New Yorker. Right now I'm in New Jersey, but I'm a New Yorker. I was raised there, um, went to college, got my um, computer science degree, and I was working in IT since I graduated college. And until two years before, I just decided I needed a break because IT it's very stressful. Mm -hmm. So when we moved to Jersey, um, the commute, obviously I was working in New York City, so the commute was back from Jersey. Mm -hmm. So I decided, you know what, I'll just take a, a year break, I'll stay home and uh, spend more time with the kids. And at the same time, my husband was doing MBA from Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, so he was very busy, he couldn't give any time to me or my kids. So I decided, you know, I'll just stay home, my kids need me. Yeah. So that's when we also moved to Jersey uh -huh. and we started renovating the house and it, it just started as a hobby. I started my page. I was obviously following uh, Farah for the longest time. I think I, I started following her from a personal account since 2014. Oh, wow. And I think she started her journey around 2012 or 2013. Uh -huh. So I was following her and she is the biggest inspiration, I believe, in the home, in this decor community. She's she's amazing what yeah. she has done and what she has achieved mm -hmm. so when we moved i just started my page um as a hobby and i was it's it's a funny story we were just, it was a saturday morning i was sitting with my husband we were having coffee and i just told him you know what um i'm not working but should i just go back to work and he said well can you do something from home and i said just as a joke, I said, maybe I should start an Instagram page and I should start sharing my home. And while I was making my, uh, drinking my coffee and I turned back, he, he loves photography. So we have like studio lights, we have tripods and everything. Like our basement is like a whole studio. He loves photography. So I turn around and I see him with his studio lights and his tripod. He's like, so which picture goes on your Instagram page, the first one? And I thought he was being sarcastic. I said, are you kidding me? Um, I'm just, I'm just like, you know, like I was just joking. I don't yeah. think um, 
you know, I'm serious about it. And he said, no, I think you should really do it. So at that time I was in the process of like renovating my house. Nothing was done. My formal living room. I just had the, the Z gallery, the flamingo uh, end tables. Mm -hmm. so my picture on Instagram was the flamingo end tables with the Z gallery hand table, you know, the decor accent that's the hand. They yeah. Cool. So he took the picture. He's like, okay, come up with a name. So I, I started with my last name. I started with Shelwani Designs, mm -hmm. which later on, uh, when I was at 2000 followers, I just didn't feel the name was, I just didn't feel it. So I changed it to a piece of my glam home. Yeah. So uh, he took the picture. We picked a name. I posted the picture. I didn't know how hashtags worked back then. Yeah. I just tagged Z Gallery and I used two hashtags. Oh, okay. And somehow I got 13 likes, <laughs> but Z Gallery shared my photo on their page or on their website. And then I got like, I think I got like 70 or 80 followers with just one picture. Wow. And that kind of motivated me. Like, you know what? Maybe I should start posting more. So yeah. It's just like then I was posting about my whatever I was getting, like with a new wall art, a new mirror. I was just posting here and there. But then like after two months when I was at like maybe 1,500 or 2,000 followers, I changed the name of the account to a piece of my glam home. And that's when I started posting regularly. Mm -hmm. But I had never posted every day. I posted every other day. Because I, I just think posting every day, it, it wasn't just for me. It, it takes a lot. It's like a full-time job. It is. People don't understand yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it started. Like just to, on Saturday morning, having coffee and, you know, my husband, and he's my rock. Like he, I would never have started this journey if it wasn't him pushing me to do it. That's awesome. Thank you. And even like starting my own blog and starting my YouTube channel, even starting my TikTok, he is <laughs> always the one who would tell me, did you think about starting a YouTube? Did you think about starting a blog? Like, um, just be out there, do something different. Not everyone has a blog out there, you know, yeah. like, uh, not many people have blogs. So he said, he just kept pushing me and, um, you know, I am. And actually, um, it was on 1st June this year, it was my first anniversary. I opened my account last year on June 1st. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. You've so, done so yes. well in a year. That's amazing. Yes. It yes. Is. Uh, and I, it's all because of the followers, the love I get from the followers, like the DMs every day. Even yeah. I, if I'm missing on my story, sometimes I just need a break. Yeah. I usually take one day off during, like, especially on weekends, I take a day off. So I always get him, are you okay? We didn't see your links today. We didn't see anything. So it's like really sweet, like people out there and they're like regular followers, not like any decor accounts or any influencers or any, you know, the friends that I made on here, like regular sweet followers. So I'm just, I think I'm just blessed to have like, um, they're amazing. You, you created this great community, right? Yes. And yeah. the, your community is amazing how we all support each other. Um, it's, it's just amazing. When, when I met Farah at her uh, book event, uh -huh. she was telling me, um, it, we were all together. I think I was with uh, Sonja and Dress Duty Decor, Alina oh. and Jasminda. So she saw all of us together and she said, you know what? You guys are amazing together. But when she started, she had no one. Yeah. She was all by herself. So yeah. um, she said, it's, it's amazing you guys are supporting each other. And I think it's, it's, it's a great way to support each other. And there's room for everyone to grow here. I totally agree. You know, like uh, the friendships I've made, like with you and others, other Instagrammers has just been very organic and natural, yes. you know? And I, I feel like you just, it's just so nice. Like I hop on, I want to see what my friends are doing. You know, it's that kind of feeling. And then yeah. same with the followers, like, you know, the DMS and everyone is just so sweet and so supportive for the most part, you know, overall. And it's just great. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it, it's great. I, you know, I, I, I don't know if you heard my story, but it's kind of started similar where I was, we moved to a different city and I was, I did, I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it just, it came out of, yeah. out of, just your necessity of needing something and it just kind of grew like that way organically. So that's great. So a couple of things. So you said you had a blog. 
How long have you had your blog? I started my blog when I reached 50,000. So when I did my 50,000 post, uh, I um, announced that I, you know, just recently started a blog. So I think that was back in December. Okay. Six months ago. Yeah. And so do you, are you able to post regularly to that? Like what kind um, of- This quarantine did slow me down, <laughs> but I do try to post like, um, like one or twice a month, but I have, ne- I have not been doing that for a month or so, like a month, I think. Yeah. But I do try like two posts, um, two blogs per month. I, I, I try my best to do that. Yeah. But quarantine did slow me down because it's, it's, crazy i mean i don't get time so but yeah and also i'm getting so many uh collaborations just because of because i have blog uh, a blog and um some people the brand just want me to write a blog for them Mm -hmm. and they post it on their website so that's another way to get out there yeah i think Um, people underestimate the value of having your own personal blog It, because you know Instagram could be gone tomorrow, so you need a, you need a place where that you can keep continue growing, right? Yes, true. Yeah. So I guess that would be a great tip for a lot of people who are starting yes. an Instagram page. And I know it can seem a little overwhelming at times, like, but it's true. You have to do the blog. You have to do the Pinterest post. You have to, you know, continue to evolve and grow. It's like a full time job. I mean, people don't get it. Just yesterday, someone asked me, "I'm not growing." Um, how do I grow? But if you're posting like once a month, yeah. twice a month, you can't expect to grow. I mean, I don't post every day, but I make sure I post every other day. Yeah. Um, sometimes I don't, I'm not even posting two, three, you know, days a week, which is fine. I think everyone needs a break, mm-hmm. but make sure you're like consistent. Like the, just if you're not posting, be there on your stories. That's what I tell everyone. Like, you know, stories, take advantage of them. They're as important as your posts. Oh, yeah. I, honestly, for me, stories, I get... Your stories are amazing. You're yeah. out there so genuine, showing your parents and your backyard and your DIYs. My dirty house. <laughs> you're pressuring Steve to do this, do that. <laughs> so that's fun. That's fun to watch. And I think that's what people like to watch. Yeah, well, it's real life, right? Yeah, the, the realness, I guess, they like to watch that. Yeah, yeah, they really do. And um, so it, it is, like, I try and share as much as I can in my stories without oversharing, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I never get bored watching your stories. There are stories, like, you just, you know, you just keep going forward. <laughs> <laughs> the stories, like, yeah, it's, uh, like, you never get, I never get bored watching your stories. They're fun. Well, thanks. Well, renovating a house gives me a lot of content, which I'm sure when you went through renovating your house, it kind of like, yeah. Yeah. so I never thought I was going to be on this journey. So it's been nice to like, there's always something to do and something to show. And then like, I have like with the weird animals, you know, I got a bird now and I have a bunny and I have cats. Yeah. Yeah, So you have a lot of a grandchild that I get to hold. So you have your grandchild and the nursery and everything. So yeah. We have content, you know, planned for the next two, three months. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So let's talk about, we, we talked a little about the, what sparked your passion for home decor was kind of your husband spurring you, which is amazing, just showing your home and having his support, which I love, because I really do think it, it does take an understanding partner when you're staring at your phone, sometimes a couple hours a day, just trying to get through the, through it, right? editing and all that. And then um, having a blog, I th- I'm so glad you brought that up. It, it is really important. I think everyone should at least try, you know, Wix is, is a great format to start with. Yeah. Don't you think? Is that where your blog is? Um, I have my own website, a piece of my glam home with Bluehost. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you, that's what you were asking. Yeah. Well, just like I host mine with Wix. I don't know. I'm not the IT person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It could be hosted somewhere else. <laughs> Let's not go into that. Let's talk, a little bit about, <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your e-design business. So tell me how that started. Yeah, e-design. So it's funny. Like I was just telling you, the stories are as important as posts. So I remember when I was at like 30 or 35,000 followers, I had this um, story where I, I was mentioning that I do e-designs and I tagged my local township. 
Mm. I live in Princeton, by the way. So I tagged Princeton, New Jersey. And I got my first client of e-design from my local community. That's they, nice. found, they found me from Instagram. And that's the, you know, you have to take advantage of the hashtags. Hashtags work. I mean, like, that's the key for your post and your um, story. So yeah, I do e-designs and my first client I got from my local community. And now everything is on my website. If someone is asking me, um, they DM me about e-designs, I just send them to my website um, and everything is there, how to start the process and they just fill out the form and then we just get started. And that's another great reason why you need a blog or a website, right? Yes, another reason, <laughs> yes, definitely. Right. So um, I would say, okay, what are your best two tips for a new, new decor account? We talked about hashtags, which is super important. How many, I'm going to ask, that's going to be a second question. How, how many hashtags do you use or do you vary it up? Because I know that we've had a little bit of discussion here and there about using 30. Now it's gone down to like less and you know what Instagram algorithm is always changing. So currently what are you doing that's working for you? Okay, so I know we can use up to 30, and I always use 29. 29, oh. I don't use 28, I don't use 30. We can use up to 30. I just use 29, and I have been using that um, since I started my account. Like, my first post had three hashtags. I, I had no clue what I was doing there, but then I did do some research, and I watched, like, I don't know how many YouTube videos I watched on this, but they do say like the more hashtags you have, the more exposure you will get. And you want your post to be out there on the explore page. So I think it's, I, al I always use 29 hashtags. I don't use 28, I don't use 30, I use 29. If you go back to all my posts, I'm using 20. And also don't use the same hashtags in all your posts. I heard Instagram ends up, um, ends up shadow banning your posts if you keep repeating the same hashtags. So every time I post, I use 15 old hashtags and I come up with 15 new hashtags. Okay. Um, so, uh, I mean, 15 new and 14 older. I just mix them up. Yeah. So it has to be like Hashtag 29, 29, which seems like your magic <laughs> number. <laughs> yeah, 29. 29 hashtags and uh, just make sure it's, if you're posting a bedroom, bedroom. If your post is about a bedroom, don't post. Uh, don't use the living room hashtags because people are not going to like your, um, you know, your photo or your video if they're following a, you know, hashtag that has that they're interested in living room and your bedroom pops up. They're not going to like it. So if it's a living room post, use living room. Like use relevant hashtags. Yeah. You can't, um, you know, use like living room hashtags on a bedroom post. Right, right. Stay to the stay. Another thing I always give is make use of your um, stories. Your stories are, I think, they're more important than the post. Um, so, what do you do for your stories to help? I, you know, Lisa, when I started my page, I was renovating my house and I didn't have much to show. Mm -hmm. So, I was showing my house here and there, like. But then I also started posting inspirational pictures. Like I will post uh, a photo of other accounts that I, I like, like inspirational um, posts. So I also did that, a mixture of that. But then uh, there, came, there came a point when I said, you know what, I'll just post my own home on my feed, on my page. And then I'll start sharing inspirational photos or um, house in my um, stories. So I, my stories, I always, um, you know, I'm always sharing like, you know, like new kitchen technologies or how like before and after of um, like luxury homes. Mm. So I'm always um, sharing that kind of stuff. I, my stories have, I'm slacking for a week or two now, but yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I share inspirational stuff in my stories and I get a lot of um, questions like of, of, about about those kind of homes and then I'll, I'll make sure you tag the person that you're sharing with. Of course, of course so, always yeah. always tag right most yeah. important don't share anybody's yeah. stuff without giving them credit <laughs> yes yes always tag so that's another thing and also your stories get you new followers mm -hmm. people like they don't know like stories play a major role in growing so your stories also end up going to an explore page 
and you get um, new followers from your stories as well. Oh, yeah, that's, that's such a good tip. Yeah, stories are super huge, I think. Yeah. Yeah, do you ever add hashtags to your stories? I do. I do. I, I at least add one hashtag and I tag um, like um, the, I use the location where I am at. Or sometimes, like I'm in Jersey, I still use um, New York. So yeah, yeah, you can use any in like any location. But yeah, it's 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 a great way to get your stories out there, and and have people find you. Yes, yeah. Like I told you, my first design was I the first line they found me through my stories because I used the hashtag like the location mm -hmm. uh, on the stories where I am from. So that's how they found me. So you never know like who will find you that's crazy and also people who are starting new account just make sure like you're dedicated if you're not dedicated like you can't come on your you know account and post once a month and just leave i always like whenever i'm posting i make sure i have like 30 or 40 minutes to spend on my post whatever like people are commenting you have to you know reply them so instagram figures out, okay, you know, this post is doing better and then mm -hmm. it pushes your post to the explore page. And that's what you want. Yeah, engage, engage, engage is what engage. we always say. Yeah. Like the 40, 40, 45 minutes, I usually do 40, 45 minutes. I make sure like I have that time. I tell my kids, okay, I'm about to post, leave the room. <laughs> so they know now. I mean, like these past three months, they learned a lot what I do at home. So, so like, it, oh, this is how you built all of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's it's funny. My six year old, she wants a cat now, and then she came up to me yesterday. She's like, I, I you know, I really want a cat. I'm bored at home now. I have no friends to play with. Can we get a collaboration so that I can get a cat? <laughs> laughing for like good five minutes like six year old knows like a mom can collaborate on instagram and get me a cat <laughs> can you get a collaboration so that we get a cat like okay so sweet <laughs> she's like i want this cat <laughs> <laughs> and yeah she told me i need, I need a I, I don't know it's called tabby siberian can you get a collaboration so we get a tabby siberian cat like okay <laughs> i can try <laughs> That's funny. I know my kids too, too. Like they see some of like the rugs, especially they're like, when you're done with that rug, I'll take that rug. <laughs> or, or can you get me the, and I'm like, no, it has to come to, to me first. <laughs> you have to show it. Yeah. Collaborating is new to me because before we lived in an apartment, yeah. so I really didn't have anywhere to put anything. So I didn't really ask for much. And until we renovated, then I started asking everybody, can I have a light? Can I have a rug? Can I have a couch? <laughs> That's another thing. I'm glad you brought that up because people think like um, brands have to reach you out, which is oh, no. true. They do reach you out, but don't be shy to reach out to the brands as well. And I think I had my first collaboration when I was at 10,000 and I did collaborate with Wellovin for a rug. Yes. So um, I, love them. I reached out to them for a rug. So don't like, just reach out to them don't be afraid that all you they'll just say no that's yeah. that's all they can say so. yeah i've been told no way more than i've been told yes and i'm like <laughs> i've been i've been trying to get new lights for that for a couple of rooms like for forever now and yeah. i finally got the chandelier for the living room i was like yes. thank you crystal rama <laughs> <laughs> i needed it to look pretty <laughs> can't, can't <laughs> photoshopping that fan out <laughs> which I did. I photoshopped that pan out for 11 months. <laughs> yeah. But that's a beautiful chandelier from Crystal Oh yeah, they hooked me up. It's great. I was fortunate. Yeah. So, yeah. well, you, I just want to, I just want to say thank you. Say no to you, but just keep going. It's, um, don't make like one no let you down. Just keep pushing and keep doing it and just be real. Just be yeah. real. Keep posting and, um, it's still like, you'll do it like you know if you keep trying i believe you you can get anything you want yeah i agree i agree those are some great tips for everyone and i just want to say thank you thank for you. going on this journey with me and being one of my new newest people on this podcast and um you've been amazing and you've been an amazing friend on ig and and you are amazing as well this has been fun i was nervous but you made it so easy well you know I might show those bloopers, but you know, you know. <laughs>
You're great today. <laughs> thank, thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too, Lisa. Thank you.